In this video, we're going to be using Crown and Crane Celtic Tweet and the Blackbird Titanium Razor. Stay tuned. Hey there, folks, and welcome back to another video. I'm your OCDB. Thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. And as mentioned before, today we're going to be using Crown and Crane Celtic Tweed. Show you the label right there. This is a very nice soap at a very nice price. I got this from the Razor Company for $16.95 for five ounces or $3.39 an ounce on our cost chart, which is a good price. The scent on this one, it is uh, inspired by um, Creed green Irish tweed. Show you the description there on the screen. It is a classic, nice scent. Almost everybody likes it. It is non-offending, I would say. Scent strength on it is knocking on the door of medium, right around that medium range. Really nice soap. Uh, it is a tallow-based soap. We'll put the ingredients for you on the screen right there. No problems lathering it whatsoever. It's easy to use. It's not finicky. You don't need a PhD in chemistry or chemistry equipment to lather it. And that for me is a very good thing. The eraser for today is the Blackbird Titanium, which was sent to me by Blackland to try out. And I have been loving this razor. And the, the blade today is the Bic Chrome Platinum, which I enjoyed yesterday. And today we're going to have to we're going to try to have an upbeat, positive shave because yesterday, you know, I was bummed out. Today, we're going to try to turn it around and uh, use this Blackbird and, and just have fun again. Let's let's make our effort, best effort to do that. And that's what we shall do. And there goes the light right out of the gate. Whew. What can you do? <laughs> Some Sometimes things just like this happen. It's It's a little more difficult for me to operate in here. Anyway, let's get going. We have our AP... Shape Co. brush. There is our lather, well hydrated. Again, the, the crown and crane is easy to use. And I like that a lot. And I have, like I said before, committed to uh, not using finicky soaps. If they're super difficult, well, not only super difficult to lather, let me put it this way. If they're not fun to lather, in other words, if they force me to to do, do things I wouldn't ordinarily do. I have to be very careful. I'm just not going to use them. There are too many soaps that are easy to use and are fun to lather the way I lather. And this is one that's easy to lather. So this one will definitely be on my to use list. And the consistency of this soap is such that it's not soft and goopy. So you, you'll get more value out of those sort of soaps that are a little bit more firm as opposed to being Super soft and goopy. I have really fallen out, fallen out of love with super soft soaps. I just don't find them enjoyable to lather, and uh, I'll send them on the road. <laughs> I just don't, just don't want to fool with it. And you know, everyone should use what they prefer. You may really prefer those sort of soaps, and that is entirely okay if it's uh, if it fits your use case and what you like to accomplish. But for me, I just don't find them enjoyable, and if it's if I'm not enjoying it. That doesn't work for me. Okay, let's get going with the Blackbird Titanium. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. That is just nice. And the, uh, I mention this every time I use the Titanium Razors. Probably overkill in terms of material, more than you need, but that will certainly last a lifetime. And their weight is... There's enough weight for it to feel substantial, like it feels good in your hand without feeling cumbersome. And some people just really like that, the balance and the weight. And while the balance and weight doesn't shave you per se, some people just really like the way it feels. And I completely understand that. But I like the uh, stainless steel Blackbird as well. If I had to pick only one, which would I choose? I would choose this one because I do prefer the feel the titanium, the overall weight and balance. Um, it's not aluminum, so it's not crazy super light, but it's not stainless, so it doesn't have that heft, although I don't mind the heft, but when I have found that when titanium is available, if I have it, I tend to prefer it. Uh, it just, I don't know, it hits a sweet spot weight-wise. And this razor is uh, pretty efficient, I think, and don't hold me to this, but I think Blackland lists it as 7 out of 10 in efficiency, if I'm not mistaken. I don't have that in front of me, so if I'm wrong, feel free to correct me. But I believe it was 7 out of 10. And it is efficient without feeling overwhelming, in my opinion. 
A good razor. Really like it. All right, that was a nice first pass. The Bic Chrome Platinum Blade feels good in this razor, as far as I'm concerned. Let's try not to knock our light off this time. It's like I said, it's um, I'm working in the corner, and the outlet is right next to me, and it kind of sticks out and uh, the plug, and I've knocked it off twice now. <laughs> but it's been a strange week, you know. As you know, if you've been following the videos, it, and yesterday it was, uh, you know, it was kind of a, even more strange because my wife had uh, got some scans back from the doctor and she had some additional nodules in her lungs. As I mentioned yesterday, she has been on oxygen for almost a year now and they don't know what it is. And they had a, they found a nodule the last time. Now there was a couple. And so yesterday I was sort of maximum stressed and so on with that news in addition to all the other things we have going on. And so, you know, being human, you just let it out. And I let it out in the, in the way I did. And, you know, again, if you were put off by that, I apologize. Uh, it's just kind of a rough time at the moment. And I hate to see people that I care about fighting um, when there's real problems out there with real families. And then you see these guys arguing over silly things and you're like, come on, man. And so that, that's why I address that. But I'm not going to get into that today because I'll get going once again. And nobody wants that, including me. <laughs> so let's enjoy the shave. That is our goal. And when it's not enjoyable, I've always said I won't do it. And so we're going to make it enjoyable so I can. <laughs> All right. Let's cut this down here. Again, the crown and crane is, uh, is very, very easy to work with. And I'm sure when I'm finished here, well, you can see some of it. You can see there's some soap left in the bottom of the bowl there, which I, which I like. Typically, if I use the exact same amount in a soft soap, it'll be gone. It'll be completely gone. But with these soaps that are a little more on the firm side, better value because you don't have to use as much. So keep that in mind. And that means something to me, value. Even though we acquire a lot of gear, we don't, you know, do it frivolously. We try not to. The main thing we try to do here is just enjoy ourselves and show you products and say, hey, you know, if you're interested, here it is. Here's what I think of it. And to enjoy that process. And it is very enjoyable. And I'm thankful to be able to do it. And I'm certainly thankful to be healthy enough to do it. So that's certainly a plus. Wow, what a nice razor this Blackbird is. Just feels really nice and smooth. Getting the job done and when you rinse the uh, water shoots out those rinse ports there, which is kind of cool to see. I'm gonna do a cross pass here on residuals because we're only gonna do two passes a day because it's warm in here. And again, as I've mentioned before, if you are new, what I'm doing right here, I'm shaving on residual slickness. I don't advise you to do it <laughs> because you're a lather, you know, especially if you're new, it may not have that much residual slickness because there might not be enough hydration in it to begin with and if you try to shave areas where there's no visible shaving cream you might wind up in trouble so I advise you not to do it and as I said the other day do as I say well uh, not as I do if you're new only shave areas where there is visible shaving soap or cream and reduce the amount of strokes you do in areas where there's not visible soap and cream so keep that in mind You'll see a lot of us like right now, mostly all the visible soap is gone, but there's still slickness there left behind by the lather. And so I know from my years of experience and I know my skin that I can get away with that and it's no problem whatsoever. You may find that that's not the case for you. Maybe your lather doesn't have great residual slickness yet. You haven't gotten there yet, or maybe your skin just doesn't like it. So that's part of the learning process that you have to go through. And so my advice, um, stick to shaving areas where there's soap. You know, make your stroke like that and then move it over. Of course, I'm always following up those areas, especially now because I'm, you know, doing two passes. But um, I advise that you uh, make your strokes and keep it moving. And do not repeatedly go over these areas like this where there's no visible shaving soap or cream 
Um, that's just a bad thing for new folks to do. As you develop experience and as you figure out what your skin will tolerate, you can. But as a general rule, I don't advise that you do. <laughs> and I'm trying to save you irritation, creepers, weepers, bumps, problems, bubbles, troubles, you know. And telling you do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> All right. That was excellent. Once again, the blackbird is absolutely fantastic. All right, let me rinse and then we'll come back, get into the post. And I brought a little ray of sunshine with me today, so stay tuned. And all right, we are back and off cam. We did a warm water rinse and then they cold water rinse. Forgot the alum once again, so we didn't go with that. But we did use the Thayer's. This is a uh, cucumber, witch hazel, magic, because it's made by witches. And I really enjoyed the shave today. It was really nice crowning crane, Celtic or Celtic tweed, whichever you prefer. Really nice soap. Good quality, good price, easy to use. Thumbs up on that. The uh, Blackbird Titanium was fantastic with the big chromium or chrome platinum blade, whatever it's called. Really, really nice shade. I've really been enjoying using this. We used our AP Shave Co. Handcrafted Series brush, which is the only brush I brought with me this time. And we're going to finish it off with a little ray of sunshine here. The Seaforth Sea Spice Lime, still to me, best scent of 21. 2021 thus far. Now there's still some time left, but you're going to have to work hard to overcome this one. As far as I'm concerned, the most unique and best uh, lime scent that I've ever experienced personally. I still stand by that. I know people subsequent to, to me making the videos are like, ah, oh, you know, it's good, but it's hyped. Oh, this is good stuff. It's totally unique. It has something that no other lime soap has ever had for me, and that's why I love it. And believe me, I've used a lot of lime and citrus soaps. I'm going for round two because why not? This stuff is just amazing. And even the toner, it hangs around there a good while. So, oh man, that feels so good. <sighs> I love the C4C Spice Lime. Again, my favorite scent of 2021 so far. If you like lime or citrus, try this one out. It, it's lime plus lime on steroids with some other um, stuff, and I love it. All right. Thank you all for joining me. Um, wishing you many blessings. Until next time, I've been your host, CDB, reminding you, it's your shave, do it your way. And as always, God bless.